Good afternoon and welcome to the Gallery News Update at at 12. I am Titilayo Olamide. And here are the news details. Nigeria loses over 576 billion naira yearly to medical tourism. Almost two years after his last trip to the United Kingdom, UK President Mohamed Buhari yesterday jetted out of the country on a medical trip to London for the sixth time since he was sworn in office in 2015. The president and some aides departed the presidential ring of the Nandi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja, for the London routine medical checkup around 2.30 p.m. Those at the airport to beat the president fairway included the chief of staff to the president, Ibrahim Bab Gambari, minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Mohamed Bello, Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, and other presidential aides. Before departing the presidential villa, Buhari had met behind closed doors with secret security ships where he directed them to fish out and crush heads of bandits, kidnappers, and their local collaborators to restore confidence in the society. The presidential trip has expectedly elicited reactions from Nigerians over the deplorable state of healthcare system, with experts saying the country could be losing more than 576 billion naira yearly to medical tourism. And on banditry, 100 cardinal victims in bandits den, others live in fear, can. The Christian Association of Nigeria, Cardinal State Chapter, as said, no fewer than 100 residents of the state are in different kidnap camps. The state camp chairman, Reverend Joseph Ayab, in an interview with The Punch on Tuesday said, aside from the 39 students of the Federal College of Forestry Mechanization, AFACA, and the eight members of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, whose kidnaps were public knowledge, many adoptees were still with their adopters in the state. I have also said other residents of the state were living in constant fears of being kidnapped. Plus, PDP faction suspends ex-governor Aliru of Niger for anti-party activities. A faction of People's Democratic Party PDP in Shashanga, local government area of Niger, has suspended former governor Babangida Aliru from the party for alleged anti-party activities. This is contained in a statement signed by eight ward chairmen and seven members of the, Peop of the People's Democratic Party in the LGA in Mina on Tuesday. The statement, and I quote, The former governor of Niger, Dr. Babangida Aliu, is hereby suspended from the party in Shashanga LGA in pursuant to a stakeholders meeting held on March 29th, that the allegations levied against him be forwarded to him to respond within 14 days. And as business reports, Nigeria may revisit ban as new investors use cases arise. Nigeria's present disposition on cryptocurrency may not stand for too long. This is as almost all world economies are adjusting their trade activities to accommodate crypto transactions. The means of payment is also attracting new investors and appreciable use cases. Cryptocurrency, sometimes simply called crypto, is a digital is a digital currency that can be used to buy goods and services. It, is, it uses online ledger with strong cryptography to secure online transactions. However, much of the interest in these unregulated currencies is to trade for profit, with speculators at times driving price skyward. The Nigerian government recently placed a ban on transactions on crypto through local banks, warning users of uncertainty and every risk involved that can cripple an economy. Meanwhile, world's largest payment company, PayPal, recently announced that it has agreed to acquire Cub, an Israel-based crypto security firm, as it expands its portfolio in cryptocurrencies and digital assets. It is a deal that could potentially open up new use cases for the crypto market. PayPal had recently created a new business unit focused on blockchain, crypto, and digital currencies. And in the foreign scene, Political crisis and COVID surge rock Bolsonaro. Brazil's James Bolsonaro is facing the biggest crisis of his presidency after the head of the army 
Navi and Air Force all quit and the country recorded its highest daily COVID-19 death toll. The unprecedented resignation of the defense chiefs is being seen as a protest by actions by Mr. Bolsonaro to assert undue control over the military. Mr. Bolsonaro's popularity has plummeted over his response to COVID-19. Nearly 314,000 people have died with a new daily record of 3,780 on Tuesday. Plus, Italian officer caught selling secrets to Russia. An Italian naval officer has been arrested in the heart of handling secret documents to a Russian military official, police says. The men were stopped by military police on suspicion of serious crimes relating to espionage and state security. The Russian, who reportedly worked at the Russian embassy in Italy, is expected to be expelled. Russia's ambassador, Sergei Ravo, has been summoned to the foreign ministry home. NRJ Chidima is on the standby for Spot News. Stay tuned, don't go away. In life, you can never be too sure who to trust. This is the story of Mrs. Ungazi. Mrs. Ungazi just wants to use the ATM. Good afternoon, Mama. Uh, let me help you out here, Udra. You don't need to stress yourself. Thank you. But I can handle it myself. The man has just been kind. Right, he just wants to help. Right, wrong. All he needs is a good look at the pin. Will he succeed? Ah, <laughs> oh, what's my ID found? I see. Oh, no. Do not share your card pin with anyone. Keep your account information private and ensure no one is watching you while you enter your pin. UBA, Africa's global bank. And here are the news update on sports. England based Eagles to isolate after Afghan qualifiers. Super Ego players in English Premier League and the Championship will isolate for 10 days on their return to the United Kingdom. The Punch reports. The England, the Eagle has in their ranks six players who could return to England after playing the national team qualifier for the 2021 African Cup of Nations built for Cameroon next year. They are William Trust Econ, Alex Owobi, Wifred Ndidi, Kelechi Hanacho, Shemi Ajayi, and Ola Aino. According to new UK government rules on coronavirus, they can reduce the isolation period to just five days on the provision of a negative COVID-19 test. And still on sport news, Oseme voted best player as Eagle Trust Associate 3-0. The Super Eagle ended their African Nation World Cup qualifier with an emphatic 3-0 win over Lesetho at the Tensive Balogu Stadium Lagos on Tuesday night, the points reports. The goal is from Victor Saime, Ogener Kero, Etuk, Ektobo, and Paul Onochu ensure the Eagle finished Group L with six, 14 points from six matches and also went on beating throughout the qualification phase. Winning four and head twice in the double headed versus Sierra Leone last November. It was a memory moment for the national team as they returned to Lagos after a decade. Head coach Gennot Schroeder made some changes to the side and that defeated Benin Republic on Sunday with goalkeeper Francis Uzoho replacing Maduka Okoye and Tyron Ebuhi and Alexi will be returning to the starting lineup. And Reho Men gave a good account of the sense as Napoli striker Oseme opened scoring in the 22nd minute of Ekelechi Ihanacho pass. And that's all we can take on the sport news. I'm LJ Chidema. It is here again. Are you an artist looking for a place to produce and promote your musical videos? Or a content creator in need of a platform to air your program? The Gallery TV got you covered. At the gallery, we provide world-class production services. Such as event coverage, promotion and production of musical videos, studio rental, live streaming of events. We also provide airtime for your program on all our platforms. These and lots of other interesting packages, all at an affordable price with a 10% discount. For more details, you can visit us on our website at the 
www.thegallerytv or on our social media platforms at The Gallery TV on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The Gallery TV, we set the pace. And that's all we can take on the Galawi News Update at noon. I am Titilayo Olamide. Don't forget to join us at 4 p.m. for yet another update. Till then, do enjoy the rest of the day. Bye for now. Thank you.